Now, I do have a very special guest today, and it's someone I know a lot of you would love to speak to. Should we introduce him, Dave? Yes. So we've got a very special guest. Let's go outside because let's go. Let's go talk outside. Oh, I've got antlers. I'm hitting everything, and of course this tent is made for James Henry. As you can see, it's not made for me to walk with antlers. And uh, so generally, you normally only ever see this person outside. Don't run away now. We have our very yes. And if you're in the tent today, you have to put your antlers on, even if you put them the wrong way around. <laughs> And we've got Herbie mic'd up to join me in the tent. Oh, there we go. The wind, I'll hold it for you, Herb, don't worry. There we go. So a big welcome to Herbert Causa. Of course, this is the man that keeps us safe, and I know a lot of you would love to have a chat with Herbie. Herbie, what have you been doing? I saw Hashtag. you running. <laughs> Hashtag Safari Live, made by Herbie. There we go. And that's how, if you want to ask us any questions, you can do that by using the hashtag Safari Live on Twitter or send us an email to questions at wildearth.tv. So as I was saying, Herbie and I were planning to go walk. What were we going to find today? We're going to find all the lions, all the leopards. Yes, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. But but now the weather has put us in the tent. Herbie, would you like to come join me in my office? Of course. Why not? There we go. Okay. So now... Herbie is a man of many talents, a master tracker, a master shot with that large caliber firearm he carries around with him. But also, Herbie, you can do some bird calls. Yes, I can. But now we've got a special video prepared of you and Jamie doing bird calls. So let's go have a look. And Herbie, of course, ever present ahead of us and checking to make sure the coast is clear. He's talking to the bastard. <laughs> I'm not sure who's talking. That's how good his impression is. I think he's talking to a black-bellied bastard, which is a type of bird, by the way, if you have just joined us, and it makes the most amazing whistling sound. And then a champagne cork pop at the end. Herbie, wait. Before you run away, Herbie, Will you do the sound for them, please? The sound of the black bellied bastard. Wait, hold on, I've got to get closer to you so it'll pick up on my microphone. I'm gonna lift up my hat so you can do it into my microphone. That's amazing. The one's responding back to him. He's talking to him. Is this? That's the best impression I've ever heard of a black-bellied bastard. That is exactly what they sound like. And he's talking, he's responding to, should we, try, should we see if we can see it? I'm sure that he's on the tour. He's gonna come and attack you, Herbie. You're too good at the call. That amazing. How incredible is that? Herbie, where did you learn how to, to make the call of a black-bellied bastard? Um, yeah, as a naughty boy, we used to mimic <laughs> different uh, bird calls, including the black bellied bastard. That's how everything started. So, have you, have you got any other birds you can mimic really well, except for the black bellied bastard that you would like to share with us today? Um. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, Herbie, Herbie thinks a little bit. Now, we're really lucky to have Herbie with us, and of course, he keeps us safe. But also, Herbie is one of the best gentlemen in this part of the world for finding leopards. And I've been lucky enough to walk into quite a few different leopards with Herbie. I think my favorite one is when we were tracking Karula and the, the Mampimpa, and where we're not going to say the person's name, but he drove over the tracks. Yes. <laughs> and I then, <laughs> shh, we don't say names. We don't want to make him look bad but uh yeah so herbie and i we both we then followed the tracks on foot and we, we were lucky enough to find Krula. yeah uh, that also keeps on clicking in my mind that was my best day trekking ever um i didn't believe that after seeing the scratches on the ground would be uh, able to find the actual animal and for me and brand actually we were busy discussing how are the chances for us to find the animal we knew that the tracks were fresh but at the same time we doubted because the tracks have been driven over and luckily famous brand <laughs> managed to see the scratch on the ground and yeah we took it from there I was very lucky. I, 
I, I was about 90% sure it was a leopard track, but I wasn't 100% sure until I had a Herbie come and then he confirmed for me and then off we went up the drainage line. We found Krula and the Cubs on a kill. Now, a Debra, oh no, I've gone completely back now. It was Debra, was it? Debbie. Debbie. Debbie would like to know what is Herbie's favorite animal to track? Um, of course, a leopard. <laughs> Karula. <laughs> there you go. I think that answer is going to earn you a lot of friends, Herb. Your favorite <laughs> leopard is Karula to track. Yes, uh, so it is It is wonderful that we are able to spend time. And Herbie, you've had some scary times as well. Um, I think one time in particular with the Ngorma Pride. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, yeah, that was... They gave me a ref. Um... So well, just for those who are not sure, I'll give you a rev. So if you rev your car, uh, when a lion charges you, sort of, oh, 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 oh. so it's like a, a revving of an engine. So when Herbie says it, they gave him a rev, it actually, it actually means the lions ran out of the bush, hitting the ground, going at him. <laughs> and by give me a rev means um, they, I, I, I surprised them. And in that case, they, dis, they decided to defend themselves. So what happens coming to trekking is that when you are in the bush, you, you have to use all your senses, including um, looking around, listening to any of the um, alarm calls of the birds, mamas, or anything. Um, but in that case, um, I just ignore one of those signs, which was to go to the highest point and check around to see if I'll be able to get the visual. Yeah, that's when I was very much close to the lions, and that because of the presence of the cubs, two of the males started coming and everybody, including the tiny cubs, responded. <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. I tried to call Brent. I think I'd run away to Arethusa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, so, I mean, it does happen. Occasionally we do, we do get charged by animals, but fortunately it's all our experience and stuff like that that, that keeps us safe.